We have three great talks tonight, but in the way of Risk Five meetups, it wouldn't be a proper Risk Five meetup without us um, just giving you a quick overview for, of Risk Five. I appreciate quite a few of our attendees will know Risk Five inside out, upside down, and back to front, but we have some attendees for whom it's new technology. So, welcome to the Risk Five rev Revolution. Um, Risk Five is an open source hardware instruction set architecture. So it's actually a specification that's open source. Okay. And the base user spec has been frozen for six years. And what is now actually RISC-V International, these slides are slightly out of date. Um, the RISC-V International, which is a Geneva-based organization now, it's a not-for-profit and it serves its members and the industry. Um, and the idea is to drive the development of the specifications, their ratification, compliance, and other technical things associated with Risk Five, and to grow an ecosystem. And in a way that sort of promote, we're trying to get diversity without fragmentation, which is a bit of a tall order. Um, so the Risk Five International is trying to make things happen, and Risk Five is getting more focused on actually delivering stuff okay. so um you can apply risk five everywhere <clears throat> um, um and it's fair to say that the first risk five processors coming out have been the smaller ones because they're easier to do so you can see risk five in the smaller iot class devices and you've seen people like western digital talking about the use of risk five in their um uh, di disk drives, for example, um, but it, it's it's slated to grow um, to the biggest things to cloud and data center applications. Barcelona Supercomputer Center are one of the members of the uh, Risk Five uh, International, and indeed, Risk Five is unusual in that not only does it have thirty-two and sixty-four bit architectures, but it has one hundred and twenty-eight bit architecture. And given that modern data centers use about 56 bits of addressing, it won't be so long before 64 bits runs out. And there's everything. You've got chip manufacturers, big familiar chip names. You've got famous universities in there. And indeed, the work that uh, one of our, our last talks today will be about work that came out of ETH Zurich and the University of Bologna and is now moving into industry. Um, you have investors, big sources of investment. I mean, um, many of you will see quite how much got invested in sci fi over the last couple of years. Uh, the press love the whole risk five story. I come from the software background, so my company sells a lot of technology in the software space and all sorts of people, the whole um ecosystem of chip and product design is there and not to forget individual advocates and i think you know possibly richard miller is a good example of an individual advocate he's our second speaker today and where are we um here's the value i'm selling you membership here you can join at all sorts of levels you're getting the technical deliverables more importantly you're getting involved in those technical deliverables so as a risk five international member i chair one of their groups and you know that's my contribution but i get a lot out of that interaction um compliance and verification so if you've got a risk five core you can get risk five international to sign off it really does look like a risk five core uh advocacy and outreach um and that's a big part of risk five is to reach out to the wider community to the academic sphere and indeed parts of industry that don't know about us learning and training how do we get universities here and we've got and we already know we've got some people from southampton university here so that's a big part of it and there's a marketplace you know we all work by selling stuff to each other well not all of us but the industry side does and you know growing the visibility is important so there's a lot to membership of risk five international i'm sure that's grown since this slide was done if it still says risk five foundation on it so you know, chip, software, IO industry, research labs, huge research labs all around the world. So you know, right through uh, big contributions from, for example, the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Um, you know, it's a lot of uh, uh, 
are there. We've already seen today we have uh, people attending from India. Great, great to have you. And you can join at all sorts of level. You can be a great big company and pay your quarter of a million a fee and get a seat on the board. Um, most companies join at the strategic member level, and that's from $5,000 a year upwards. There's an element of if you want to play, you've got to show you're serious. Uh, but $5,000 is possible for um, you know, pretty much most companies, even the smallest companies, if this is what their core interest. And most of all, the community members. So if you're academic, uh, if you're not for profit, if you're an individual, you can be part of Risk Five, and you do have a representative. Your representative on the board is Stefan Valentovitz, um, who is uh, one of the directors of the Free and Open Source Silicon Foundation. So you've got a good, high-profile voice on the board for community members. Okay, so, um, so I think you know it's a great community. I think it's going through transition. I think the transition to being a European-based organization based in Geneva has helped to smooth its international look. It's it's it, this stuff all came it was great work, came out of Berkeley, Christo Sonovich, uh, Dave Patterson. But this is no longer a Berkeley, California project. It's a global project. Um, it has been a global project for a long time. I think the headquarters in Geneva has helped to seal that. So join the revolution. Um, Callista Redmond's the chief executive. Uh, Mark Himmelstein, um, who some of you may remember from Open Solaris, is the CTO. Um, and Kim Mann is head of marketing. So there's a small core team. And then there's a technical support team who make sure all the meetings and, and wikis and websites and repositories all hang together. So um, Callista's approachable. Go to the top if you want to join ping Callista and she'll help you through the process. So that is a bit about risk five and you can always talk to me or, or chat on there. And I can see we've got all sorts of people here. Drew Frostini uh, Drew Frustini's on the line. I see here and he's a great advocate of the risk five community. The London risk five meetups are a bit unusual in that they focus on open source. They're hosted by the British Computer Society open source specialist group. The British Computer Society is one of the uh, professional bodies for professional engineers, software engineers in the UK, founded by Royal, uh, founded under Royal Charter. It can award chartered information technology practitioner, chartered scientist, and chartered engineer status. The Open Source Specialist Group has more than sixteen hundred members, and is by far the largest body for professional open source engineers in the UK. Open to and all our meetings are fully open. You don't have to be a member, but we're very pleased to host this meetup. And because we are the open source group, this meetup focuses on the open source aspects of Risk Five. 